Okay, so continuing with shaping um, and moving through shaping on to finishing. Now, we have already used a rasp, in this case, fairly gently so that I do not, uh, because I'm working across the grain, I don't want to splinter the wood. Um, and I've, I've got the general curve here that I want, but I still have a saw cut in there and I still have some saw marks which I want to take away but the rasp has become um, too heavy at all. So I'm gonna to move to a file. The file in this school we want to wrap with um, sandpaper. And we want to do that because the sawdust from this pine is gonna clog up the teeth in the file um, and, and damage that as a metalwork tool. Now, I'm taking material away, so I'm using P80, and it's the P number that we want to look at um, as a rough grade paper that's gonna take material away um, not the colour, uh, that is just the brand, okay? So we're looking at the P number on the back and then I'm going to wrap the file. Um, it's helpful for me if I don't start with too large a piece and if as I wrap it, I wrap quite tight. Otherwise, um, that sandpaper is not going to be able to use the shape of the file that I've chosen to suit my work. Again, uh, control hand um, and a hand putting a little bit of weight on and I'm moving across the wood and also shaping along it at the same time so it's almost a diagonal action. Now the temptation as you do this um, because we don't want to move it around too much and we get a little bit lazy is to start to work all the way up here and around here. But if I do that, I'm putting pressure in this direction on the wood. Um, I know I've got a short grain there and it's going to ask it to snap because this, even though it's wide, is not held in the vise. So I'm going to be careful just to work um, where the wood is, is held and to work low down in the vise. Um, and how I know when I'm done, in this case, I might need to move it up a little bit because I'm getting some interference from the desk there. How I know I'm done is when the saw marks are out. And what I'll be left with is some marks from this sandpaper. If we have a look, just in here at this section that I'm working on, I can see the cut marks from the abrasive um, grit, the 80 grit on that sandpaper. But I still have a saw mark which I need to take out. So I'm still going to be working to take material away until all I'm left with is the sandpaper marks and not the saw marks. And at that stage I can move down to the next grade of sandpaper.